Now, all this week on Spotlight, we've been focusing on the work of Children's Hospice Southwest. Rick and Julie Dean's son died when he was just six years old. They've described the staff who supported them as angels who saved our lives. When the charity was set up 25 years ago, there were no hospices for children in the southwest. Well, now there's one in Devon, Cornwall and Bristol. And tonight, our reporter Andrea Ormsby looks at how the charity helps families when their child dies. Kieran Dean was three when he was diagnosed with an immune deficiency. He died when he was just six years old. That's when his parents, Rick and Julie Dean, and their two daughters turned to Children's Hospice Southwest. They were just like angels. They just kind of lifted us up and we didn't realise and, and just, mm -hmm. you know, cared, cared mm -hmm. for us as a family. We could not have managed that time. We were totally devastated, even though it was something we got to know was going to happen in the last few weeks. Each hospice has a room where a child can lie in rest for up to a week. Kieran had been in Great Ormond Street for the last eight months of his life, but this room, called Starborn, is where his family said goodbye to him. It's not clinical. It's just like a normal child's bedroom. We had his toys in the bed with him, and that was so nice to see him lying peacefully. So nice. The families have said one of the biggest things that we offered them at the difficult time, although they loved all the fun and games and everything else that we do, being able to quietly say goodbye and have time to get used to the fact their child's died has been the, the biggest thing we have given them. Kieran died 13 years ago. Good afternoon, Children's Hospice Southwest. Julie speaking. But his parents haven't forgotten him or the help they got. Julie works here and Rick raises money for the charity, which did so much for them. When he first passed away, I had all the usual emotions of bereavement, um, anger, disappointment, frustration, all those endless questions of why me, why this, why that. And, but being here at Little Bridge and talking to them here, and it took a long time, three years more, um, you gradually start to remember the good times. It's kept us together, it's kept us alive. I think out of everything, it, it has kept us alive because I honestly, truly believe that if it hadn't been for the Children's Hospice, I don't think Rick and I would have coped any other way, truly. That's really from the bottom of my heart saying that, because that's so desperate desperate you can, you can be when you lose your child. In the southwest, for 25 years now, families with terminally ill children have had this support. We believe that bereavement starts at the point of diagnosis that your child is going to die in childhood. And we travel that journey with families. And you know from people you've interviewed and walking around the hospice that in fact this is a place for families. And it's that care for the whole family, which I think makes our service very, very unusual. And we travel that journey with families for as long a period or as short a period as they want. Children's Hospice Southwest focuses on making the most of short lives. But when the time comes, its help with bereavement is invaluable. Andrea Ormsby, BBC Spotlight. And tomorrow we'll be hearing how the hospice makes life fun for terminally ill children and their siblings.